Hello, my lovely Leos. This is your November. What are they thinking about you? General reading. This is for Leos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, Six of Cups Reverse. <clears throat> Two of Cups Reverse, The Magician. Queen of Swords Reverse, The Devil. Three of Wands. The Full Reverse, Queen of Pentacles. Three of Cups. Two of Wands Reverse. Knight of Swords, Wheel of Fortune, Five of Swords Reverse, Three of Swords, and Six of Wands. Okay. So I feel like there's definitely a situation that you're moving on from, okay? Um, I feel like there's someone that you have a lot of um, happy memories with. Um, this is someone you could have known for a long time. Um, I feel like you are moving forward in your life. I feel like you're becoming independent from a situation. I feel like you um, have broken communication with the person. And this is because I feel like you lost trust in this person. I feel like communication is broken. You may not be speaking with this person. And there is a lot of tension here. I feel like there was also a lot of imbalance. And I feel like you may have put more effort into the situation than this person. And I feel like you have removed yourself and you're trying to become independent. Currently, I see that you are manifesting and you're trying to create greatness in your own life. You're trying to adapt to this change. And you're really trying to improve your self-esteem. Your, <laughs> your self-esteem. Sorry, I can't talk. So I feel like right now you're at a point where you're just manifesting a new life. You're building your own new life. You're healing. And you're no longer staying stuck on a situation where someone is not putting you as a priority. Okay. All right, why is the Two of Cups here, please? Tell me about Two of Cups, please. Yeah, there's definitely someone you had feelings for. This person could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I feel like you really wanted to be with this person. I feel like you really nurtured this person. Some of you may have even loaned this person money or been a really, um, by a, a very good security blanket for this person. Um, I feel like you would definitely wanted to nurture someone, but I feel like in time something was revealed. Queen of Pentacles, please. Yeah. This person was in and out. And I feel like this is someone who brought disappointment in your life. And in time, um, you know, prove themselves to be someone who was not trustworthy, prove themselves to be someone who was not um, you know, account, you cannot count on this person. This was someone who was very reckless and very in and out. And I feel like in time, this person started to show their true colors. So I feel like you may have released this person in your life. Some of you could have been connecting with a Capricorn or a Capricorn could be significant, but I feel like you guys made a head over heart decision. And I feel like you decided to cut this person out, whether they were happy with it or not. Um, because this is someone who was really cruel with your emotions. This is someone who wasn't really um, kind. It wasn't a really gentle person. And I feel like you may have waited for this person, um, but I feel like you're no longer doing it. I feel like you've released yourself from this person. You released yourself from the situation. And now you're looking beyond the horizon. You made a decision to leave and walk away from the situation. And now you're waiting for the next chapter in your life to open up. You're waiting for um, your ships to come in. You're looking ahead. You're trying to move on from the situation. You're healing. And that's beautiful. The Queen of Swords, please. Why is this here? Some of you could be connecting with um, an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius as well. Specifically Aquarius. Like you just screw discouraged in the situation. You realize that um, there's someone who could not be trusted. And I feel like this person brought out insecurities. And I feel like this person you lost faith on. And I feel like you just realize that it's, you know, kind of easier to walk away. I feel like you didn't want to just walk away. I really feel like you tried your hardest to fix the situation, but you realize that, you know, there's some things that you cannot fix. And this person is going to remain stuck if they don't change their ways. And I feel like there's only so much you felt that you could do, but I feel like eventually you just decided to, you know, take your losses, accept your losses 
and go towards a different direction in your life because you didn't want this person to keep you stuck, okay? Even though they're stuck, their energy is stuck, you didn't want this person to keep you stuck in your own life, okay? I definitely feel like this is someone who um, may have been very foolish, okay? Could definitely be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I feel like you were naive to this person. I feel like you, your heart, um, your heart was like not really allowing you to see this person's true colors with the three of cups here. Um, this is someone who could have brought you happiness. Three of cups can also indicate like a third party situation and keep in mind that three of cups, um, or a third party situation rather is not always another person indirectly. Sometimes children can be involved. It could be energies, um, it can also be like family or friends that are meddling too, or an ex. So just keep in mind that there was some other situations here that could have interfered with this connection. Okay. Um, there could have been someone that was dependent upon them for money. Um, they could have had money issues as well. With the full in reverse, I definitely feel like, you know, again, I feel like you may have been naive or been taken advantage of in this situation. And I feel like this person was more reckless um, than you knew. But I feel like your heart wouldn't let you see it. You were blinded by your heart in a sense, okay? And I feel like this person knew how to milk you, knew how to um, say all the right things. You know, they knew every word to say. The full please, why is this here? Yeah, it definitely could have been a Capricorn. Um, but the devil in reverse, I feel like you did release this person. Um, this person could have been stuck to another situation that, you know, maybe they were having a hard time to release. Three of cups, please. Yeah, see, there was something that they didn't close out that they were dealing with. Um, with the world here, there was definitely something that they didn't close out. There was definitely some incompletion here. There was definitely some emptiness here. So they could have drank to maybe numb themselves of this. But I feel like um, it could have been an ex that they were going to. So I feel like they could have been, you know, connecting with more than one person or going back and forth. And I feel like it's like they all, they knew every word to say to like keep you around. But like in time, they revealed their true colors is what I'm seeing. External factors, we have two of wands in reverse. So I feel like this is someone who was trying to play it safe, didn't really want to make a decision. Um, someone who really sucked at planning, not a greatest planner. This is someone who feared change. So I feel like they could have had you know, one foot in, one foot out with you and had one foot in and one foot out with another situation here. Okay. This is someone who, you know, maybe wanted their cake um, and steak too. Clarify two of ones, please. Yeah, I feel like this person, you know, um, I definitely feel like this person did like you. I definitely feel like this person desired you, um, but I feel like they didn't, they didn't do what they needed to do. This is someone who, um, just sucked at making plans and just stayed stuck and just didn't take the appropriate measures or do what they needed to do, um, to, to get you. Okay. Obstacles. We have Knight of Swords. So this is more air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Obstacle was this person did not take action. This person did not stand up for themselves. This person did not stand up for you. This person did not defend themselves. Okay, so I feel like obstacle was getting this person to take any action and do the right thing. Nine of Swords, please. Yeah. You know, defending you to their family. Um, defending their family if you are family. Defending you. They didn't fight for you. They didn't fight for your family. However, the situation applies, Okay. How this person feels about you, we have Wheel of Fortune. So this person sees you as someone who may have changed, may have gone in a different direction. Um, this person still sees you in a positive light. They see you like a good luck charm. Um, for some of you, this person could have been financially dependent upon you or getting financial um, security from you. Clarify Wheel of Fortune. This person also knows that you may have moved on or made a decision to leave. Um, 
person sees that you're going towards greatness in your life and you made a quick decision to go towards a better situation is definitely what I see. So this person is aware that you are not staying stuck, that you're no longer allowing them to have power over you. Okay. And I feel like this person um, is desiring to reconcile with you. I feel like this person does have a lot to tell you. I feel like this person wants you to forgive them. I feel like they secretly want to reconcile with you because um, there is something that they want to tell you. But I also feel like there's a lot of lingering resentment here. Okay, I feel like this person wants to acknowledge that they were deceitful with you. I feel like this person's grieving your loss. They definitely feel like you're lost. They definitely um, miss you. And I feel like this person misses your attention. Okay. But I feel like you kind of are already have your back turned. It's like you don't want to be a part of a third party situation. You don't want to be a third wheel. And I feel like you kind of are already on your horse taking off and you're going towards greatness and success in your life. And that's a beautiful energy to be in. Okay. Why is the Three of Swords here, please? Tell me about Sagittarius. Too many. Ooh. Okay, this is Virgo energy. But I feel like... Um, you know, this person's still grieving you, but it's like right now you kind of have gone within with the hermit here. I feel like right now you're searching for your own personal truth. Um, you're only allowing your intuition to guide you. You're doing a lot of soul searching. You're doing a lot of contemplation. And the hermit is someone who seeks out the star. So I feel like you're healing. And right now you might be alone. But I feel like for you, it's better to be alone and to heal than to be with someone who's stuck. And wearing the false mask and lying to you. So I feel like right now you're just trying to wipe away, you know, all the filth, all the karma that this person brought into your life. Right now you're trying to purge this, this energy, this, this stagnation that this person brought towards you. Okay. It's a strength. See, a lot of you guys have found your strength could indicate you are surrounded by obstacles. You will find the inner strength to overcome them at this time. Keep your faith and you will be guided. You will find strength you never knew you had. And I feel like that's exactly what happened. You guys finally found the strength to walk away. Um, knowing when it was time to walk away. Finding the strength to walk away. It takes a strong person to walk away from a situation. And love. You may now find your soulmate and marry within the 12 to 18 months. Woohoo! Okay. Or better, your present relationship. Your decision means commitment, harmony, and security. So some of you, by walking away from this person, you're going to allow new love to enter into your life. You're not going to be stuck and being so stuck on a person that has bad vibes, bad karma. By letting go, you're allowing this person um, to, you know, you're allowing someone new to enter your life. For others of you, by walking away, you are making a statement to this person that their behavior is not okay and that they need to make changes in their own life. So I feel like either way, you're sending a positive message, but walking away is definitely necessary. Okay. Yeah. See, for some of you, this person may have had children or other responsibilities. Um, you could have had a child with this person as well. Um, but I feel like, and if, children were not at play, then this person was definitely immature. Okay. So just know that, that your love life was affected by their immaturity, um, their inability to be an adult and make a decision, or they had other responsibilities such as children. Okay. Give a relationship a chance, work on your partnership. Okay. So I feel like for some of you, um, I see this a couple ways. Um, you know, maybe, don't be so closed off to the situation, but I feel like this person has to meet you halfway. Okay. So this person, if they want another chance with you, they have to meet you halfway and prove themselves because actions speak louder than words. For others of you, there might be someone around you who's interested in you that maybe you probably wouldn't consider because this is a different type of person. Uh, but I feel like if you give this person a chance, you might be pleasantly surprised. Okay. Okay. 
yeah, it's a new love, new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So there's someone around you who might like you that maybe you may not be so open to. Um, but I feel like if you feel that you've healed and you are ready, um, you know, then it's okay to embark on this new connection. Okay. It's okay to go towards new love. So some of you are going towards new love and some of you might be waiting for this person to heal. Okay. As looks, look at the pattern in your relationships. It requires inner strength to recognize that you need to change or modify your behavior. And that's a beautiful card. And that's why I feel like um, some of you might have someone around you that's very different that you don't really, maybe aren't interested in. And so you maybe wouldn't give them the time of day. But if you guys are finding that you are being in a repetitive cycle where you keep meeting loser after loser or, um, you know, someone who's just, you know, a bad person over and over, it's because you're going after certain types. You know, if you're saying, oh, you know, she has to look like this. I want her to be like this. I want him to be this tall. I want him to be this ethnicity. I want him to have blue eyes. I want her to have, you know, a small waist. When you guys are looking for superficial things and you guys find yourself always going for a certain type, never expect change in your life, ever. You're going to keep running into dead end after dead end. So sometimes just keep an open mind that, you know, who you might be destined to be with may not be the person that you might go towards initially. But keep in mind at the end of the day, when you are older, when you're, you know, 70, 80, sitting around with someone, do you want to be sitting with someone who's a bag of bones, who has nothing, um, you know, fun to contribute, you know, conversation wise, who doesn't have anything in common with you? No. At the end of the day, you want to be with someone who's your soulmate. You want to be with someone who wants adventure like you. You want to be with someone who shares a lot of commonalities as you, who has things in common with you, who likes to tell jokes, who maybe likes to cook. So sometimes just give people a chance because you never know, you know, what, you might encounter and how much you might love it. Okay. So Leo, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, I wish you guys love and light and I will talk with you later. Bye Leo.